Hey, so are you looking for PicFu alternative? PicFu is a software for Amazon that allows you to A-B test different things. Are you looking for an alternative? Maybe price is not right for you. Maybe you just want to try something different. Well, in this video, we are going to share such an alternative with you. That's called Product Pinion. So we're going to do Product Pinion review and we're going to explain to you what it is all about, how to use it and how it helps you. In the description of this video, there are going to be special links to get special offers for these softwares. And in this video, I'm accompanied by Andre Sadok, who's a co-founder of Product Pinion. He's going to be with us. He's going to show us how to use it and explain it all. And hopefully after watching this video, you'll understand it best. And hopefully you're going to find an alternative for PicFu if that's what you're looking for. Andre has been a guest on our channel multiple times. I've known him for like many years. He's the head of the mastermind that I'm a part of. And yeah, so it's awesome to have you here, man. Andre, can you introduce yourself to us? And then we're going to dive into the content. Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me, Wolvan. I generally hate when people compare us to PicFu, to be honest with you, because wow. Even though we love them, they do an amazing job overall. Uh, we do a lot of different things from PicFu. Specifically, we do qualitative testing. So basically full user experience testing. It's also specifically built to test for Amazon as a marketplace, while PicFu tests for many different reasons. And it's also specifically built, Product Pinion is built for proper brand building. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I'll explain why testing the way we do it leads to a healthy, sustainable, and real e-commerce brand. So what you're saying is that product opinion can help us understand the market better, product better, the audience better, so we can get better conversion, more clicks on Amazon, ultimately more sales. And it's, as you mentioned, some people, it's like, it's so, so, somewhere similar, but it's not, right? And I'm curious right. to, to see today, well, how is it different, you know? So let's Yes, see. 100%. Now let me just share the screen so I can explain the whole thought process of what testing entails and how we are commanding it uh, with the tool that uh, me and my partner built. So the, the whole idea behind the tool is allowing you to scale your brand the right way. So what does it mean? The right way, first of mm -hmm. all, you need to listen to your customer. You need to solve their problem. If you do it well, if you do it better than anybody else in the marketplace, you'll be rewarded accordingly right? Sure, sure. And what is the right way? Like you want to test, you want to use data. And uh, since any business and e-commerce business is not an exception, is a business for humans. It's something you do for people. You need to test with people. You need people to tell you what matters to them. So what is Amazon testing? And before we dive into it, quick overview of who I am, why you need to listen to me. I have one e-commerce exit behind. I'm building a new brand. So I'm in the trenches building Amazon FBA brand. I helped grow other brands from zero to millions. I'm also, as Baba mentioned, the co-founder of the e-com brand builder mastermind mm -hmm. and a co-founder of Product Pinion. Now, here's an interesting fact. Fortune 500 spent 2.2 billion with a B on customer interviews and focus groups in 2017. If they did that, it's probably important for you to do customer interviews and test user experience. So famous example, Mattel made Barbie based on focus groups, you know, Barbie the doll. People basically told the business, Mattel, the brand, hey, we need this kind of doll. And they did it, it worked out. So what is user experience testing? It's basically the tactic of gathering both qualitative and quantitative shopper insights. And let me explain what it means. So qualitative, in other words, is user experience testing. And since we cater this solution to Amazon sellers specifically, it's Amazon user experience testing. So it's basically seeing how people shop, how they perceive your listing, how they interact with your or your competitor's listings why they look at certain search results, why they click on A versus B within the scope of them shopping on Amazon, not just out of the blue and white background. And it typically involves recording someone's screen so you can see what they do. In our case, we have basically screen recording and you watch your potential customers shop. You see where they click, you see what, what they say. They speak and they think out loud. You can mm. hear, hear them answer all the questions while they browse Amazon. Does it make sense so far, Bola? Yeah, so you're saying that first you mentioned that in 2017, sure if it's one year, 2017. Just within one year. Yeah, $2.2 billion were spent on understanding customers better. And Pretty much. Fortune 500 like, 
companies do that, then probably, and I know that as an Amazon seller, like <laughs> we need to understand who we're selling to, who's our, who's our buyer. And if we can identify them in the best way possible, then we will be better than our competition for sure. And then exactly. you mentioned that a product opinion allows us to actually see how somebody who's searching on our product listing sees things because we see things differently as sellers. We sometimes love yes. our products and that's sometimes not good for us. So we need others. And if that's a buyer that is interested in this product and he's saying like, hey, here it's too big. This one looks small. This picture is not even real. Like, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. you're absolutely right. Because we have that bias. We have the curse mm -hmm. of knowledge. And sometimes we miss things that actually are important for our customers. Mm -hmm. uh, we just don't know they are. So the four ways Amazon user experience testing will help you scale. First of all, you will understand your market better. For the new brand I'm launching, I launched a few campaigns with product opinion and I basically watched people search for my main keywords and I saw what they click on and they were speaking out loud, explaining why. And now I know what matters to them better than probably most of my competition right now because I listen to what the customers say. Now, coming back to this, there are some softwares, Pick was one of them, that helps you tell what and what we try to address is explain why something performs better. Mm. When you understand why it performs better, you can make unique solution, unique image, unique visual, unique everything about your brand and still win. So not just copy what works, but address the reasons something works. Now, here's an example to that, vegan friendly. Like I love this example because it has vegan has nothing to do with this product when you think about it. This product isn't something you eat so you don't really think about it being vegan is important. But after we watched a few videos of people clicking on different products, we noticed that a lot of them chose the one that had vegan, the very top one that had vegan in the title. And when you mm. research your keywords, it never comes up. There's no traffic for that keyword specifically in this niche, but people apparently prefer that when it's vegan. And most of these products are actually vegan, but nobody talks about it. So now when you know that it's important, you put it in your title, maybe you lose a little real estate by not using another keyword that has more traffic, but you improve your conversion by using it. Now, here's another one, missing attention example. Like this is another client who's using product opinion. And by the way, everything I share, every brands we share, we have explicit permission to, uh, to share their case studies. This is uh, Travis Ziegler's brand. The product is Eyelid Cleanser. So at the very top, you see a line of products advertised. His product is also in the middle there, the white one being advertised. And Travis is big on PPC. He's very smart in terms of Amazon advertising. But we noticed a lot of people just skip through this. They scroll through those images, everything that he was advertising, and they clicked on the left and on the right, not in the middle. Mm -hmm. So we figured it, there's something with the main image. Okay. And We'll come back to the main image because we did some tests, improved the conversion big time. But now let me explain the next thing that testing will help you with. It will help you with your conversions. Uh, you can read your customers' minds, uncover objections, and know exactly what you need to do to convert them. They'll tell you what matters. They'll tell you why they bounce. They'll tell you what confuses them. And when you adjust based on their feedback, surprise, surprise, it starts performing better because you serve your customers better, right? So here's another example. This is, again, qualitative feedback or user experience feedback, something nobody does. There are softwares that do that for SaaS businesses, so for IT businesses, but not for e-commerce for some reason. And we are the first to do that. This product is a shower cap. And after watching this video, we realized something very interesting. Actually, let me show you exactly what happens when you have that recording. Having it be reversible, I don't know if that's necessary unless that helps for having it dry out. Having it dry quicker, if you use it, then you can turn it inside out where it can, no, you turn it inside out the wet side. Basically, she's confused. So she's confused about the reversible function of this product. And the direct quote is, I don't know why reversible is necessary. Maybe it helps with drying, but no, that doesn't make sense. I don't care if it's reversible. So you've seen what our customers do. They provide the feedback while they shop on Amazon. So they see what's happening. They comment on your images or your competitor's images. In this case, we send them directly to the listing because we could see that conversion isn't where we want it to be. So what the solution is, you explain it better. Okay. Mm -hmm. And in our case, we basically said, here's what it does. You leave in treatments uh, in, in the inside 
And then you, when you reverse it, you can clean it or something like that. Like I'm, mm. I'm not too familiar with the product, but understanding the customer's feedback led to explaining it better visually. So there's no confusion because when your customers are confused, they bounce and you yes. don't want that, right? Now, another problem, will it fit? So somebody else commented on, yeah, there's no size reference. Like they weren't sure if it's good because somebody has a lot of hair or somebody has big head and they're not sure if it's going to fit. How do you address that? Solution, call out sizing. So you talk about, like in this case, we use long hair, don't care. Show long hair, mm. show that it fits easily any hair types and lengths. And most of the competitors will never test it, will never understand why people bounce, but you can fix it by listening to your customer. Now, what also testing is going to give you is unlimited ideas. And uh, customers are amazing at providing you ideas on new products, new variations, and things to split test as well. Go ahead, Volvo, you were going to ask something? Yeah, I just wanted to ask before we continue with this part is the customers that are going to give us feedback, are they customers for that same product? Sort of. So we have at this point over 10,000 customers in the US, a few more in Canada, a few more thousands in Canada if you need. And these people provide feedback based on the demographic you select. So mm -hmm. there, there are ways to narrow it down. To yeah. That's close of a demographic mm -hmm. that you're serving so, in so this if it's case, like mothers or you know what i mean like maybe it's a baby yeah. product and we need girls to mothers. Niches, is you there an option yeah. like mm -hmm. in this case obviously we checked off not to have male provide that feedback because male mm -hmm. don't usually use those yeah. products yeah uh, there's certain age bracket we selected uh interest mm -hmm. stuff like that right pretty cool man yeah so cool and then you mentioned like people are searching they can comment on your title on your main image inside that's and then right. we get to unlimited ideas that they could provide us with right yeah so basically there is a list of tests that we as amazon sellers because we've been selling for a few years no matter and we have a knowledge base built out and you can plug and play you select what you want to test in this case you want to improve conversion in your listing and then all the questions are pre-filled you're welcome to edit uh, but people go through the listing and answer those questions to give you the insights you need to improve your listing. Mm -hmm. Now, here's another great example. We call it SoundSpot. SoundSpot packaging. A lot of products would improve conversion if they improve their packaging. And what we found out is that full mm -hmm. colored packaging typically performs much better. Same with real life. So if you next time you go to a grocery store, think about things you pay attention to. Look at the shelves and catch the moment your eye stops on something. And usually it'll be something that's solid, like filled with color. You probably look at these, I don't know if it's beer, bo beer bottles or something like that, that are like orange colorish, reddish on the left, because it's the most solid block on the shelf. Same happens when you shop online. And we call it sunspot test because we figure that you mostly pay attention to something that's darker, something that stands out from the mass, right? And obviously most people use white background on Amazon when they search. So with something solid color, it stands out. And this is a real life example. If you search for apple cider vinegar gummies, you probably noticed a lot of them are pretty similar. And the reason is the one that's the most solid, the red, like the fully red one, you see the one on the bottom right with a red cap and red everything, that one performs the best in terms of conversion when you turn off the number for using stuff. And I'll show you how to do that as well. We have tasks that do this. There are other ones that perform pretty well because of the price point or reviews. But if you don't have that, obviously, you can't compete in price. Uh, I never could. Or you, you don't have 300,000 reviews like Goalie right here. Yeah. Then you at, ver at the very least, you can improve your image to the max, right? Yes. Coming back to Travis Ziegler's product. We had to change something about his image because it didn't perform as well. Conversion wasn't good. People were just scrolling through it. We couldn't convince him to go with a different color bottle, but at least we had a solid uh, label on it. And our test shows that option B, which is like dark uh, blue color label, performed much better. Then we uploaded it to Amazon. Conversion went up by like 37%, if I remember correctly. So definitely an improvement more sales, more money, and definitely pay for product opinion, right? Hmm. <laughs> now, here's a pattern example. A partner of mine, Matt, had somebody record a video giving him an idea for something he now submitted a patent for. So now it's patent pending. The design has been improved for the product. Very simple tweak. It's a very commodity-driven product. Like there are thousands of them on Amazon, but his 
idea to improve it came from a customer telling, hey, why don't you do this? Now he applied for the patent and now the sales increased by 40%. One video. Now, sequence benefit test. So this is something else that we figured after doing a lot of tests. When you have a list of features and benefits, you better list them with numbers in front because there's something about human psychology that we like to complete things. And if it's not numbered, normally we don't read all of them. So something you can split test in this case, we confirm that most people react better to the list with numbers in front. Uh, so we changed the listing as well. Same brand that you're familiar with now, uh, eyelash cleansers. And it does perform better. More people buy after they end up on, their, on that listing. Another reason to do split testing and uh, user experience testing is you create a loyal fa fan base. And mm -hmm. people are definitely more uh, attached to brands that they uh, have input with, they can influence. I know that from my own experience, I had a Facebook community for the first brand yes. and people love giving that feedback. And without that feedback, I wouldn't be able to succeed uh, amongst my mostly Chinese competition. So this is my first brand, my first product. Guess which one I launched first? I think I remember one on the right. I think that's right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Guess which one I personally like better. Left. Yeah. The one that you see on the background, if you watch the yes. video, mm -hmm. I like the white map better, but fortunately I was smart enough not to rely on my own guess. So I went to my Facebook community and before I was launching, it was already close to a thousand people and I asked them, Hey, which one would you buy if you were in the mm -hmm. looking for this map? So most people voted for the black one. Maybe it has Something to do with a sunspot example that I was referring to before, because it's solid, it stands out, it looks yeah. attractive. So I did launch the black one and I'm super happy that I did because to this day, it's like nine to one in terms of sales. And back in the day, I couldn't really look at the data too much for my competitors because it didn't exist much. All yeah. the maps that were out there were different. Some were blue, some were red, some were super old school style. So I didn't know for sure. And I personally like the clean one, the white, but you should rely on your customer's feedback more yeah. so than your own guess. And this is what I was referring to before when we do testing. And since you asked about Pickful, nobody does this. Pickful doesn't do this. When we do testing, we do it specific for Amazon. And this is an example of how we do it. So this is Amazon search simulation, basically contextual testing. When people vote with which picture they would click on, they vote within the context of Amazon search results. So this is simulation. This is not real Amazon. This is product opinion. And what I did here is I uploaded a product that doesn't exist yet on Amazon. It's in the middle, the, the red one. Also different packaging, which is something else that I'm testing. And I just typed in how many reviews I have, what the price point is, what my title is. Again, it does not exist on Amazon. Then I used ASINs of the best-selling competitors at that point to stack it against them and see what people will click on. And you see, I circled a few things. Like I can adjust pricing for them. I can adjust the number of reviews. I can adjust uh, ranking of the reviews, 4.5 stars, four stars, whatever it is in, in the niche. And I can make it very similar. Like I could make everybody have pretty much the same number of reviews. Uh, I could have pretty much everybody have the same ranking and similar pricing. And then I know that I'm only basically split testing an image. And as long as I get to that number of views at some point, it'll perform better, right? So the test wasn't proving me right with this guess. Uh, this packaging did not perform well. So now I'm back to the drawing board, improving this image because it mm. doesn't convert, okay? But this is just an example of what we do differently, even in the stuff that Pitfu also does. We do it specific to Amazon customers. Another unique thing that nobody does in the world, and we love this because we love brand building. This is how you can engage with your audience. Given you have your audience, and hopefully you do, if you don't, definitely do something to collect those emails or Facebook group members or whatever you can do to build your audience that you can talk to. Because that's the biggest problem we see with Amazon. Once you have that community, even a few people, you can share a link from product opinion and ask their opinion. And this is free. You don't pay for this. They provide that opinion to you. And what's even cooler wow. as a thank you for them providing that feedback. And that's what I included on the right here. You can include a message that they'll see at the end, which is basically as a thank you for your vote, grab, for example, 20% off our latest product. And here's the link. They click on it. And after they vote, they get that unique discount. So you now have a reason to email your list and be like, hey, I need your input. And I'll I have a, a surprise bonus at the end. And people love doing that as long as you thank them, right? Yes. Uh, and the more you do that, the more engaged they are, surprise, surprise, they end up buying your product again and again.
And this yeah. is just a quick stat for you to keep in mind, small wins compound. And uh, mm -hmm. simple math is as long as you have at least 1.4% improvement in a metric, let's say it's click-through rate, but you do this every week, there is compounding effect behind it in a year. So in 52 weeks, you double that metric easily. Obviously, there is diminishing return as you go through it. So in the beginning, there's more uh, improvement you can do. But as long as you split test all the time and you can have different targets, different metrics you want to improve, you will easily double each and every one of them over the course of a year. And your competition will not be willing to put in that smart work into it. Obviously, more often the better. So the more you test, the more insights you find. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's a subscription model. And we provide you a list of things you can split test all the time nice. to continue improving your listing, listings and your brand presence on Amazon, the way we know matters uh, and the way your customers tell you. Quick summary. This is how you build that institutional knowledge when you list your business for sale at some point. People will be looking at what you do differently, what you do uniquely. Uh, have you optimized it? How you optimize it? So it's definitely an advantage. And I know that from experience, because when I was selling my business, everybody loved the fact that I have my little audience that could help you launch products, give you feedback and, and do other stuff like that. Now for Vova's audience, we have special offer. Link will be included there. But if you just want to go with a free trial, just go to productpinion.com, take advantage of the free trial. Now, if you have questions, if you want me to look at your business specifically, reach out to me. I'll try to respond as soon as I can. My email is right there, andre at productpinion.com. That's me. Yeah, man. So we're going to have link to Product Opinion. And if we're going to be able to get any sort of benefits and special offers with time, it's going to be in the description. Maybe it's going to change Maybe a year or two from now. We're going to do and I'm going to do my best to negotiate with the guys with for the better deal because yeah, <laughs> I yeah, would love to do that. Deal. Yes. But generally, man, it's pretty crazy. Like I really like the graph that shows like how little things compound, little changes. And that's true. Like it's same in real life. You know, if you go to the gym, you know, 20 minutes cardio, I'm doing that right now, like three times a week, suddenly I'm being more, uh, you know, shredded, right? <laughs> Not, exactly. A little bit, yeah. like a little bit, da, 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 da. but then it's after system. a while. Right. I know. I know it's not Amazon, but it's just I wanted to compare. However, that's pretty cool. And what's really interesting is that feedback for you as the owner and co-founder of Product Opinion is that what really attracted me is that somebody goes and tells me like that's something that was like, whoa, that's really cool. He can really tell me, hey, this is this, this is that, like a few minutes video. That's like gold, man. That's this, very this, true. Aside from all the other cool things, this really caught my attention and maybe our listeners would appreciate a like if that did. <laughs> yes. No, absolutely. Because when you think about it, when you go to your family or friends, they love you too much to give you uh, the feedback. That's or sure. they may not so be in the market, right? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. some products, you can use generic audiences for other products. Uh, more specific is important. Yes. Also depends on the test. But with this video feedback, you'll be surprised about things you find out about your customers and what matters to them. Maybe it's the taste if you're selling a food product or supplement product. Maybe it's the colors. Maybe it's the messaging that's confusing. And you don't have to send your customers only to your listing. You can send it to your, to your competitors and get that feedback as well and learn from what they do well or don't mm -hmm. do well. You can send them to search results. You can send them to your website. That doesn't even have to be only Amazon, right? So there's so many things you can split test when you do that full experience testing, not just A or B out of the blue <laughs> yeah. yeah well can you tell us about the pricing of product opinion like what's what are the pricing models at this point of time again in the future check out the yeah, link in the description to get updated but what's the pricing structure now yeah we're for now we're super affordable it's 97 bucks a month for the most popular package it starts at 57 though so people who don't split test too much have a cheaper option and it includes 100 credits per month for uh, polls and includes five video feedbacks. So 97 bucks per month will give you 100 credits plus five videos, but you can buy more, anything you don't use rolls over and you have a schedule, like you have a full, full knowledge base that we built for all the things you can split test. Plus we'll be providing more as we develop new systems, like emails that would be sent to you regularly on things you should be improving because we know that from working with other clients. We want you to build real brands based on real customer feedback. I also like it that you're educating people. Like sometimes tools might have like solutions, but people are like, 
okay but how do, what do i do with it like and that's something that uh really is cool and you're a seller you've built scaled sold a brand for pretty good amount i, I remember you i told you man from the tom wang show like years ago man like i saw you on a podcast and that's pretty awesome so again we're gonna have all the links in the description to check out try and there's going to be an affiliate link also i think i didn't mention that means if you ever work with product opinion through my link i'm going to get a little commission from that no extra cost to you but this way you can support my free content here which i love creating for you pretty much on a weekly basis for like three years now and hopefully for the years to come and yeah I'm thanks andre man for today uh and <laughs> any comments any questions for andre for you can reach out to him but ask him under the video if i won't be able to answer i'll ask andre and we'll, we'll yeah, for sure I'll get that answer comments too. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add, Andrew, before we wrap it up? Like, if you guys want to take me on the the best offer we, we have to offer anybody, which is going to be in the link uh, under Vola's video, and you want me to look at your business specifically, try and catch me somewhere online, reach out to me. I love helping other brands. I love, like, that's my whole life mission. Brand building, solving problems, building what matters, right? It's not just about money. It's about yes, meaning. Yes. And you find meaning when you start seeing person on the other end of the screen <laughs> sure thanks man thanks for coming sharing your time and have a great day thank you take care